For more videos visit forthesakeofeducation.com Alright guys, let's do this problem where they give you this 20 Newton force sitting in the X and Y plane and they want you to find the moment that is created about 0.0 by this force. So basically what you gotta do is you gotta find the position of this vector, let's call it vector from O to A and then you need to find the Cartesian vector force, vector form of this force and you need to do the cross product between the position and the Cartesian vector form. So the moment that the force creates about O is given by the position vector cross the Cartesian vector form of the force. So let's find all the points involved. O sits at the origin, let's just write origin. A sits at negative 0.01i plus 0.2j plus 0.05k. So vector from O to A is A minus O, but O is the origin, so it's vector A, so it's equal to negative 0.01i plus 0.2j plus 0.05k. Notice that I converted already into meters because Newton meters is a much common unit for force than Newton millimeters. So all I did is just convert it to meters. This is 0.05 meters, this is 0.2 meters, and this is 0.01 meters. That's why you see these numbers. So now let's find the Cartesian vector form of the force has an X component, a Y component, and a C component. The C component is zero because it sits at the X and Y uh, parallel to the X and Y plane. The X is given by 20 sine of 60 degrees, and the Y is given by 20 cosine of 60 degrees, but the Y is negative because it's going towards the negative Y direction. So these values are 17.32 and negative 10. So the Cartesian vector form is 17.32i minus 10j plus 0k. So now you know that the moment that the force creates about O is given by the cross product of vector OA and F in this order. OA cross F so you draw your matrix i, j, k, you put vector o, a on the first row, which is negative 0 0.01, 0 0.2, 0 0.05, and on the second row you put the force, which is 17.32, negative 10, and 0. You write, rewrite your first and second column negative 0 0.01, 0 0.2, 17.32, negative 10. You do your positive diagonals, positive, positive, positive. So your positive diagonals are 0, 0.2 times 0 times i is 0. j times 0 0.05 times 17.32 is 0.866j. And 0 0.01 times 10, they're both negative, so it becomes a positive, is plus 0.1k. Now you do your negative diagonals. Negative diagonal, negative diagonal, negative diagonal. 17.32 uh, times 0.2 times k is negative 3.46k. Notice I like to line up my unit vectors, make it easier. Negative 10 times 0 0.05 times i is... 0.5i because it's negative already so it's negative times a negative is a positive and the last one is 0 times 0 0.01 times j which is minus 0 so when you add this up you get the 0.5i plus 0.866j plus 0.3 I'm sorry minus 
positive point one minus three point forty six is minus three point thirty six k. So this is the Cartesian vector form of the moment that f creates about O. They want you to find the angles. And to do that, the first thing that you need to do is find the magnitude of this force. The magnitude is given by the x component square plus the y component square plus the c component square, all square rooted. So when you plug in these three values into this formula, you get that the magnitude of this vector is 3.5. So then what you do is you have to divide each of the components by the magnitude 3.5 cosine inverse of y over 3.5 and cosine inverse of c over 3.5 this is the x this is the y this is the c you plug them into these formulas and you divide them by 3.5 which is a magnitude you do the cosine inverse and you get the angles in the c don't forget the negative right here otherwise you get the wrong answer so the angles come out to be 81.8 .8 degrees positive they're all positive 75.7 .7 degrees and 163.7 degrees final answer for the direction angles final answer for the cartesian vector form of the moment that f creates about o Please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.